Hi, my name is John Cleary. We're here at the New Orleans Jazz Festival. It's a, um, one of the most famous festivals around the world now. It's been going for, God, I don't know, since, since the 70s, I suppose. And there's an institution and great food. I mean, as well as the great music, a lot of people come here for the food, but arts and crafts, food and good music. And uh, yeah, it's all going off. I'm very fortunate to be in the enviable position of playing with Dr. John at the Newport Jazz Festival. How hip is that? For people who are not familiar with Dr. John, he is one of the greatest New Orleans piano players that ever lived, in my opinion. And that's kind of what I, that's my job. I'm a New Orleans piano player, so I'm well positioned to, to uh, make that sweeping statement. He's really great. He was one of my teachers. I know for a fact, even though I haven't heard any recordings, but Arsenio Rodriguez, who was one of my favorites, a great Cuban trez player. Uh, played at the Newport Jazz Festival in, the, I guess, the 1960s. So that, for me, has always been a special little thing, a mark of distinction. Arsenio Rodriguez was a very important Cuban musician for many reasons. One of the most important reasons was he was the guy that introduced conga drums into Cuban popular music, whereas previous to that they'd always been part of re exclusively religious ceremonies. So he made an enormous contribution, not just to Cuban music, but to soul music and funk and jazz all around. And the fact that he was included at Newport back then shows is an indication of how hip that festival is. Newport, uh, the label implies a pretty classy jazz festival. There are jazz festivals all over the world, and that's what I do for a living. I go around the world playing jazz festivals. Newport's in a, in a, in a slightly different league, I think. That's my perception anyway. We shall see. I've never been there, so I'll find out when I get there. <laughs> well, one in particular, many, but there's one in particular, and that's the guy I'm going to be showing the stage with. That's Dr. John. Yeah. So, yeah, he was my sort of teacher from afar as a little kid. I heard him when I was a little kid, when I was about 11 years old, on rec as a session man on records. Spending hours putting the needle on and taking it off and playing it back and trying to figure out how these little riffs went. We were doing a BBC session. And I sat down and started playing Tipitina. I wanted him to show me some stuff. And I think he kind of dug the fact that there was a little kid in England that wanted to learn how to play Tipitina. <laughs> well, I played with Dr. John um, when I was a teenager. Years ago, I used to play guitar in his band. And then we'd switch and I would um, play piano and he would play guitar. So I'm uh, thinking maybe we'll get to do some of that this time too. So yeah, I've been playing with him for a long time and we've been friends and, and uh, now we get to do a little tour together, do some traveling, so I'm really excited. I think there's lots of great musicians coming up today. I think um, the way music is produced these days tends to detract from individual personality and characteristics and that's one of the reasons I live in New Orleans, because here in New Orleans we still produce music that doesn't sound like the music everyone else gets everywhere else. Here in New Orleans you have second line parades, uh, brass bands play at funerals, at celebrations, and you hear great drummers and great uh, horn players coming up. And I live right by a, a, a school a block away and quite often I'll turn the corner and there'll be a young kid just playing trumpet waiting for the bus. You can see it in New Orleans, at least here in New Orleans, as people don't stop playing music. There's always a new generation coming up. Hi, I'm John Cleary. I'm here at the New Orleans Jazz Festival. Fairly soon we're going to be up at Newport and I'll be playing with Dr. John, so I'm thrilled. I can't wait. Very excited.